What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina and eyebrows. Let's jump right in. Your girl can remember back to a day when I had the boldest, most beautiful brows ever because my mama wouldn't let me pluck them, wax them, shave them, basically not touch them. She loved the model Brooke Shields. So for her, it was an honor for me to have such thick brows. As a child, I was made fun of for the thickness and the bushiness of them. And mama still wouldn't let me let them go. Then the day came, I went off to college and the dreaded plucking and snatch attack began. I ripped and plucked my way to mayhem and basically non-existent brows. Over the years, I let them grow in just a bit, but over the past few years, I've made it a point to get them to a point where I could wear them without having to fill them in, or too much anyway. It's been about a year now that I've really gone full grown and I'm really quite proud of my progress. Today, I'm gonna share with you the things I've done to grow my eyebrows thick, full, and luscious. I've been through stress, hair thinning, life's ups and downs, and yet these things have still worked, tried and true. What are some of the things that have been working for you? Let us know down below. And this video is not insinuating that everybody wants thick, full brows, because that's not everybody's desire, but it was for me. And let me remind you, we ain't working miracles over here because we ain't Jesus and we ain't Moses, none of them people. So if you think your hair loss is the result of a medical condition, make sure you get in to see your doctor. All items I discuss can be found down below in that good old information section. Let's go. Y'all, first things first, a lot of times we don't wanna face what's happening, but I had to do some heavy research on what could cause highbrow thinning and or loss. Stress and anxiety cause overall hair loss on your head and on your overall body. Cortisol, the stress hormone, can cause fallout. Sometimes it's just genetics. Skin conditions like psoriasis, eczema, or dermatitis can result in inflammation or may block follicles and have an effect in brows. Thyroid function and anemia can cause problems. Deficiencies in iron, vitamin D, biotin, or zinc. The use of harsh chemicals or years of overplucking, which can damage the follicle and weaken the hair growth. And whatever it is, don't be hard on yourself and try to be as patient as you possibly can be. Once I knew what was causing my issue, which was over grooming, stress, eczema, and even at one point a vitamin D deficiency, I was able to be more attentive to my brows and I'm happier for it. Y'all, what was really killing me was my grooming habits. Y'all, I actually learned how to do brows in college and did it for money. But when it came to my own, I was way too heavy handed. I would use one of those brow shavers to all high hell, basically be bald by the brows. I also plucked them as if something was left there. It wasn't until a wonderful time in my life when I moved to Oklahoma that a woman in a salon, Merle Norman, that was keeping me right, an older lady, she told me, honey, you too cute, you too pretty to have these little bitty brows. We gonna get it together. And now I do most everything at home simply using my brow kit by Pure Glow. So I did a lot of research and I found the ones that would work best for me that not only had different size and tweezers and different types, but also a good set of scissors. And I've actually replaced the scissors that I have on mine. You can find those in my Amazon shop. So how do I do my brows? I comb the hairs up and then I use the trimmers right along the edge and make sure that I'm not cutting into the natural arch or too much over the top. I try to make sure that I'm only grooming the hairs that stick straight up and really stand out. And I also use a guide for my tweezing. Here's a tip. I only pluck on clean skin and after I've taken a shower. Skin tends to be softer and a bit more delicate right after a shower. Shower. And this results in brow hair slipping out with minimal effort instead of you having to fight at them like you're playing tug of war with a dog. I do this about once a month with small touch-ups in between and my brows seem to really thrive with this method. Y'all, I'm also very careful about my makeup routine and my products that I choose. You all have really seen me keep my makeup products at a minimum as opposed to when I first came to YouTube, but we ain't talking about that. <laughs> I do this because my skin is actually sensitive. But also when I do the most, my brows tend to shed. I try to watch the ingredients that I use closely and stay away from products that have to be scrubbed off very harshly at the end of the day, which leads to lost hair. I don't use much to fill them in and in most cases, I just use regular old brow gel. I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills as well as the MAC. These days I've been super laid back and easy on the makeup. And y'all, this is why I love Alley Oop, who partnered with me to bring you all today's video. They're a beauty and body care brand that launched in 2019. They're all about making your daily routine easy and fun with innovative and multifunctional products. 
And since I've been so laid back with my products lately, they made it really simple with their beauty starter kit. And let me say their stuff is boss. The Stack the Odds palette has blush, contour, highlight, and a mini mirror in one compact stack. It has a creamy texture which applies smoothly and dries down to a natural second skin finish. And it gives you like that golden hour glow. The multitasker brush also has a sponge that's refillable, a face brush and eyeshadow brush, and a liner brush all in one compact tool. And I'm obsessed with the quality synthetic bristles that feel so soft and luxurious. And the sponge is latex free and it's also firm. So it can be used with foundations, concealers, and it can be used wet or dry. And the 11th hour eyeshadow stick is so pretty. It glides on smoothly and you can place it on and give your eyes a nice glow up for up to 11 hours. The formulas are long lasting, crease resistant, and also smudge proof. I love that the products are quality, easy to use, and you can get a whole look in about five minutes. It's vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, and phthalate free. Try Alley Oop's Beauty Starter Kit today by using the link in my description box and use my code and get $20 off your beauty starter kit. Y'all, I also watch my skincare products and do gentle exfoliation, more specifically for my brows. I realized that I was overly washing my brows and concentrating on them and washing them super rough. And when this would happen, I would notice really sparse areas. In fact, the woman who used to do my brows always told me to watch the skincare products that I put on the area because it could really bald or thin out the brows. I make it a point to be really gentle across my face as you all know, but more specifically my brows. I also learned that it's actually good to exfoliate the brows because we carry a lot of dry skin underneath our brow hairs. Dry skin just won't ever let us be great. And what I've noticed is when I take the dead skin off my brows, I'm opening up the door for those baby hairs to grow and flourish. Not only that, but I'm staying away from ingrown hairs. And if you know, like I know ingrowns or acne that comes up in the brows, a lot of times hair in that area becomes sparse and it goes with it. I only exfoliate that area about once a month. I use small amounts of my Era Organics Microdermabrasion Facial Scrub. And I literally place it onto the brows, put it in nice and gently. I'm rubbing across the brow in the direction that the hair grows. I rinse it off gently and towel blot it with a paper towel and get all the excess product out. What I notice is that my brows don't shed as much. It's interesting, they really don't. I finish off with a light amount of castor oil to nourish and condition the area and also calm it after being exfoliated. I use either my tubes that I can fill with my personal oils or I get it direct from my castor oil bottle with my clean spoolies. All of that is in my Amazon shop. I'm also very sensitive about any hair products or other products that that touch that part of the body because I don't want to dry the brows out. So I watch it with my hair products particularly. I like to let conditioner get on them because it does help to condition the area, but I do watch things that can be overly drying and cause breakage to the brows. Y'all, I've learned to do brow masks weekly and I've actually worked myself up to doing them more daily. I like to allow conditioner to sit on my brows for just a few minutes. Back in the day when I used to do brows and I did them with a razor, this also, what I noticed, was help the area to get softer, to soften in order for the hair to come off without a lot of fight. I noticed that this helps to soften and calm the hairs, which keeps them from flipping out of place and being all over the place in various different directions. For a deeper mask, I love aloe vera gel, especially straight from the plant, but whatever you have. Or even coconut oil to slather across the brows that give it a nourishing treatment. Regular old organic castor oil works for this as well because it delivers vitamin E and omega-6 fatty acids direct to the strands and helps to condition them. My brows have never felt softer, thicker, or even smoother. I also feel like they're stronger and don't shed as much. And if you're looking up to step up the mask, I also love to use a mixture of vitamin E oil with a little bit of coconut oil as well as peppermint oil, just a light amount, just a few drops, because this helps to ignite the fire underneath those hair follicles and help to stimulate them. So it could be something that works. Vitamins and my eating habits have helped to shape my eyebrows hands down. According to Dr. Ziering, deficient and vitamins and minerals like vitamins A, C, D, biotin, omega fats, iron, or zinc.
zinc can slow or even stop the hair growth cycles. So I like to supplement with a multivitamin daily and y'all know this. I eat a diet rich in green leafy vegetables and proteins and this helps to promote hair health and overall growth. And I also happen to love salmon and spinach, which give you a lot of great fatty acids and help to bring my brows back to their full bushiness over time. And if you're wondering, I do like to take a prenatal vitamin and also my regular old multivitamins by Ritual. Last but certainly not least, I know many of you all are gonna ask me about brow serums. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I have used some in the past. I didn't find that they worked particularly for me even more than the natural remedies, but I think they're worth a shot. And I've linked the top rated eyebrow serums for you all down below in the description box, so check them out. So I hope today's video has been beneficial for you. And look, we're not downing not having thick eyebrows. Sometimes it's just genetics and sometimes it's just not a desire. That's okay. But for those of you all that are looking to do it, be patient and maybe take your time, do some research, figure out what's going on with your own body, which is why I tell y'all to make sure you go into the doctor to figure out what's going on with your function. Otherwise, just give some things a try and see what might work for you. And remember to comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace check the links in the description for my free and new dr nina's mentorship facebook group which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress grow and support one another along the way the now that's life podcast is about to go into season two so i suggest you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on all your major podcasting platforms all descriptions and links for that and my free Supernatural video course are found below. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.